Chaz Marler from ParaviseParadise.com with another installment of Questionable Board Game Science. Just how odd are the odds? Let's say, for example, that you're playing a game in which players periodically pick random tiles that are worth a varying amount of victory points. Some of these tiles are worth one point, others two, three, four, and so on. Now, you've reached the last turn of the game, and you trail the leader by just two points. The final action of the final turn will be for you to select the remaining victory point tile and add its value to your score. There's only three tiles left to choose from. They are randomly sorted, but by process of elimination throughout the game, you know that two of the three tiles are worth one victory point, the other one's worth three. Picking the tile that's worth three victory points will win you the game, and you have a one in three chance of choosing it. So you select a tile. But oh, hold on. Let's say that just before you reveal it, in, in an attempt to build suspense, your opponent turns over one of the other two remaining tiles, revealing it to be one of the single point tiles. So you're not out of the game yet. And then, just to make things a little more interesting, your opponent offers to let you change your selection from the tile that you chose to the other remaining unrevealed tile. Now... Should you? Would switching have any effect on your odds of winning the game? Well, before telling you what you should do in that situation, let me start by telling you why. When first presented with the choice, there is a 1 in 3 chance of selecting the tile that you need, no matter which tile you select. And, and therefore, there's a 2 in 3 chance that the tile that you need is one of the other two. Now, thanks to the power of questionable board game science, even after the opponent reveals one of the unselected tiles, the odds are still 2 in 3 that the tile that you seek is one of the other two. Meaning that the odds of choosing the tile that you need to win are twice as high if you now switch and select the other one. So, in this scenario, yes, switch. Every time. Always. This statistical phenomenon, while being mathematically explainable, still makes my mind just wobble. Uh, but how about you? And have you ever encountered a mind-wobblingly counterintuitive statistic while gaming? If so, let me know, and perhaps it can be the topic of a future installment of Questionable Board Game Science. Personally speaking, I find myself leaning towards the other explanation that we all live in a computer simulation similar to the Matrix. But <laughs> that's a discussion for another time, like when we're stuck sitting next to each other on a 12-hour bus ride. Yeah. Yeah.